Hey guys, Sneaky Kitty Game Dev here, and in this video I want to announce two things. One is going to be the changes that are coming to my Patreon, and two is going to be the release of a new game mode series just for Patrons. Now, starting with the Patreon, what I'm going to be doing is kind of like what you see here. So I want to kind of transform it into a couple smaller support channels, you know, like these guys here with some benefits, as well as some of the bigger guys which have bigger benefits. And then I want to have a dedicated set of tiers that are for tutorial series so for example if you want the conquest game mode series you get this tier if you want my team deathmatch series you get this tier if you want another tutorial series you would get you know this tier and then you would have like ultimate tiers which are primarily there for support but you will also gain access to multiple different series so for example santa gets access to the team deathmatch series and the Conquest Game Mode series, and a few others that I'll be adding later down the road. So that's kind of the system that I'm going for. Now, onto the Conquest Game Mode series. What all this entails is basically it's built after the Battlefield Conquest Game Mode. Now, I'm not a big Battlefield player. I actually don't play it hardly at all, but what I'm building it off of is the wiki page here. So I'm kind of going through and I'm following this system. So basically everything involving tickets. Now, what we have is a very simple modular setup that really kind of automates a lot of the stuff for you. So basically, once you're done, what you'll end up with is a series of capture points, and you can just drag and drop any number of them around, and it doesn't matter, and the system behind the scenes will take care of it for you. So that way you can just kind of set it up and move things around, place things how you want, and the system will just work, and you now have your set of capture points. Now, how these kind of work right now is you walk into it and you capture it. So blue team now has it, now red team now has it. And then this goes for the variety of points. So the team that has the most captured points are gonna be the ones that bleed out the blue team tickets. So as you can see here, I end up subtracting from both. Now the series is not fully completed, as you will see by this post here, which actually takes you to the page as I state on part 16 where I ask you a question. So this is going to be for the people that buy the series. How do you want me to continue and proceed with the series? So basically I stop kind of right as you see here. So we have basic ticket systems for bleeding out tickets for captured points or captured zones, as well as when you shoot an enemy, they will lose a ticket to kind of simulate the respawn. So based upon that, how do you prefer it to be expanded upon? Now this is built out to be very simple and very easy to manage and continue upon. So you can basically take this, what you've already written and bring it into any other project that you want and just kind of have it be very easy to set up and function. So this should really give you kind of everything you need. Now some other things that are gonna be added here in the near future, and again, I'm talking a matter of a couple of days, is based upon how many more zones that red team would have over blue team captured, it's going to be how much faster blue team will lose their tickets. So for example, let's say we have, let's see, that's one, two, three, four, five, or five points. Now let's say red team has one, two, and then blue team only has one captured. Blue team might lose, you know, two tickets every five seconds or something like that. Now let's say red team has one, two, three, four, or even five zones captured and blue team has none. Well, blue team is going to be losing a lot more tickets. So it's basically going to be scaling with the amount that you have captured. So to go up or down based upon, well, that reasoning there. Now this series covers everything you need to know in regards to the game mode, the game state, and how those two work together, as well as the player state. Now we intertwine this with the game state to kind of discuss things like the player array, and that's what we use to set up teams and all that kind of stuff and really just how to fully make use of them. So it's really simple, really straightforward, and I would lean this series more along the lines of someone that knows what they're doing in terms of the programming standpoint. However, they don't fully understand the Unreal Engine logic or the uh, Real Engine concepts of the game mode, game state, and player states. That's kind of where this more falls in line with. So if that's you, great. Well, that pretty much wraps it up, and like I said earlier, if you do end up getting this series, I please ask you to watch part 16 first, and give me your suggestions and feedback on where I should continue and proceed with the series, and that'll allow me to just continue to work on it as you guys work through the tutorial course on your own. 
So as always, if you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to hop in my Discord, and hopefully I will see you in the series.